Last time on Persona 3 Reload. Radio Senpai, that weapon of yours is so you. Huh, really? I figured she'd use a whip or something. Why? Because she's a slave driver? Hey, let's loot that jet. I mean, he's not wrong. Okay, let's proceed with that knowledge intact. God damn it, Freud. You horny bastard. Who the f wants to sleep with their mother, you sick f I can understand the part about wanting to kill your father, I completely agree. But why the f would you want to f your mother, you sick f? Not so great. What? It doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. You should head back to the dorm right after school to get some rest. I mean, I would, but Mother Dearest is there. That way you'll be alert for the meeting about the operation tonight. I need more water. I feel lightheaded. There will be a full moon tonight. A powerful shadow may appear. I should return to the dorm to prepare myself. My brain. Oh god, my brain. Yeah, what do we have? Any luck, Fuka? Oh right, you can actually summon this thing outside of Tartarus. Unlike the P5 crew that for some reason can't. Because limitations or some crap. Hey look, this guy's here. Oh, okay. And Junpei is the hero. Is he gonna save the day? Okay. Just a moment. I found it. I'm picking up a large shadow in the city. Hey, you were right. Yes, it seems like our full moon hypothesis was correct. Seven slash seven, eh? It's located in Iwatodai. Inside a building on Shirakawa Boulevard. Isn't that where a bunch of people have been going unconscious? Hmm, Shirakawa Boulevard. I know what the next break song is gonna be. They've been finding the lost in pairs lately. Now I understand why. In pairs? When a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, they go to the seedy part of the town and for some reason do questionable things on the sidewalk. I don't understand it either. Oh. Now I understand. What's on Shirakawa Boulevard? I'm not familiar with that area. And you shouldn't be. Don't go to those types of areas. I've heard about it, but... You shouldn't go either. Oh, that's where all those hotels are. That explains a lot. Junpei, shut up! You've heard about him, right, Fuka? Where people go to, you know. There's a line, and you just crossed it. And you know you're fucked when I'm saying things about the line and you crossing it. That's... that... Y y the first line about mentioning the hotels is enough. If she's interested, she'll ask. What you're doing now is pushing, which is creepy and seedy and ew. Stop it. You, you, and that creepy smile on your face right now, when you're talking about love hotels, and you're like, it's creepy as shit. Stop it. Stop it. It is creepy. No one likes it, I think. Probably not. Just, God damn it, Junpei. Whatever you had, you just ruined it. Stop now. What is wrong with you? So many things. Come now, don't let your imaginations get carried away. They're no different from any other hotel. Yes, they are. They come with themed rooms. And they have vending machines for everything. From lubricant to condoms to disposable... You know what, let's just not go there. The rooms are just a bit more... Exotic. That's all. I mean, some of them are. Oh, really? Junpei, you're an idiot. I don't know about this. 
Maybe I shouldn't go. <laughs> what, you afraid you might see something that you like? Ah, look at you, Yucatan. You're such a child sometimes. Junpei, shut up. <laughs> what? Who are you calling a child? All right, fine. Let's go. The brother and sister are fighting again. I'm reserving a spot in the lineup for today's operation. No objections. Really? You want to go inside the playroom that badly? Sure, why not? You could just do that? So, who's going to take the lead? Why me? What, I'm supposed to take the children through the Red Room of Pain? I don't see any reason to change leaders now. Oh god. Fine. Yamagishi, I want you to handle support during the operation. I can't believe the MC says fine. That is literally one of the things that I say. I'll do my best. All right. Go ahead and decide on the rest of the team. Let's do this. I mean, I don't know what we're going to encounter. <laughs> He's wearing a top hat. He's, we <laughs> He's wearing a top hat. I'm not reading recommendations at all. I, I'm not. I'm going to stop reading now. I don't want any of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this guy's going to a love hotel like this. You know how some people overdress for the occasion? They just, you know, they just just go an extra level. He's going out tonight to the CD Red Light District, and this is what he's wearing. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. You're some 1980s, sorry, 1890s, 1680s, I don't know. Something Count of Monte Crisco, Legend of Zoro crap. What about you? Yes. Don't worry, I know you can do it. Just be careful. And, uh, I don't know, Robin Hood or something, I don't know. Uh, quick little break, because I need water. Oh, that was funny. I'm sorry, but that was funny. That was genuinely funny. I actually laughed. Alright, something about a love hotel and I just got mind fucked realizing that... I... How am I supposed to carry this knowledge forward? That Hachan has daddy issues. <laughs> what do I do with this knowledge now? How do I live with this? Are you telling me a lot of the girls that are into me have daddy issues and it's less to do with what I do and more to do with who I am and they're all broken on the inside deep down and I, 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 how do I process this do I have daddy issues do I have mommy issues I, I don't even know anymore <laughs> I'm questioning my reality what is reality wait Yukari just literally blitzed in my team oh right you called dibs nope I'm going no matter what Stay on standby. No, I'm not sitting on the sidelines today, I'm going. You really want to see the Velvet Room of Pain, don't you? Fine. Alright, Junpei, you were stupid enough to egg her on. This will be my first time going to a place like this, you know? Man, I'm getting butterflies. You got it, dude. Okay. <laughs> God. I would absolutely love to hear your commentary. But, but, hear me out. Hear me out. Kira Joe's gonna be fucking hilarious. She's either gonna have no idea, or she's gonna commentate about how her parents have one of those in the dungeon downstairs. Hmm. It'll be hilarious. Do not get distracted by your surroundings. Focus on your objective. I know what you French aristocrats are up to, you kinky bastards. We're here to defeat shadows. Whatever you say, mother. All right, let's go. Whatever you say, mademoiselle. Yes. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'll get ready to provide support so you can head over. I mean, 
Sure. Whoa! Looks just like I imagined. When you're driving on a highway in Japan, occasionally you will notice very elaborate buildings. Sometimes they will look like a palace. Sometimes they will look like a pyramid. Sometimes they will look like a castle. Sometimes they will look like a traditional Japanese tower. But they will always have bright neon lighting. Which from a distance looks very interesting. I'm like, oh Hachan, look at that interesting like building over there with the lights and everything. And Hachan's like not even moving her eyes while she's driving. She's like, that's a love hotel. And I'm like, huh. How do you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, Japan. To be fair, you're more of the provider version of parental issues. You give to offer your partner a better experience than what you had as a child. Oh god, I'm overcompensating. Oh god, they look at me as a provider. Oh god. Do you know what I what I saw today while I was like randomly because I get fitness stuff right and because we keep making this joke and the phone is totally not listening did you know that men that are physically active are more likely to have daughters because increased body temperature kills sperm cells that have the male gene meaning that physically active males are more likely to have daughters because, let's face it, the male sperm cells die. I'm gonna have to spend like a week in a freezer. Because God knows I do not want a daughter in this generation. Either that, or I'm gonna lock her in a tower like Rapunzel. <laughs> this generation is fucked! No self esteem. No body positivity. Like... What the hell is wrong? But anyway. Looks like just stick your sack in ice water. God! You know, after tournaments, right? When you're all bruised, you have to ice pack. And so, I'd come back from a tournament. And I'd get ice. And I'd throw it in the bathtub. And I'd fill the bathtub with water. So I've got icy water, right? And what's the best way to get, you know, to like lower the amount of bruises and everything? You go into a bathtub of icy water. Now, I'll stick my hand in icy water. I'll stick my head in icy water. I don't care. But there is one body part in particular. Like ice water and that body part do not mix. The rest of the body is fine, but that particular body part, like, guys, anyone that has been to the beach on a cold day knows what I'm talking about. It's just ten times worse with ice. Man, I get flashbacks to your AI Somnium file streams with daughter talking. I don't- I don't want to deal with this. I don't want this. Like, my god. And it's getting worse with every generation. We've gone from- Worrying about that your daughter's not gonna come home at 10 o'clock to worrying that your daughter's gonna stay overnight somewhere To worrying that your daughter's gonna get pregnant to worrying that your daughter's gonna end up on Girls gone wild during spring break to worrying that your daughter might be on the cover of Playboy To wondering that your daughter with her mobile telephone might be on a website exposing herself for $4.99 a month Like it's getting worse with each subsequent generation what the F are you supposed to do as a parent? Like, it's getting out of control. Don't give me that. Give me a son. It'll be easier for everybody, alright? I can take him to a gym. I can take him to a steakhouse. It's easy. Just don't give me the opposite. I don't want to deal with that. Last thing I need is three women in a household, alright? There's Cheeky, there's Hutch, and I don't need a third one. It's really horrible as it is. Take your daughter to the gym then. 
It's even worse. Girls at the gyms nowadays have their cameras and they're taking videos. It's like, it's gotten so bad. It's so bad, man. Create the next Mongolian princess. I might just have to. Champs de Flores? It's French. Did you say that? I think it's Champ de Flores. It's Champ de Fleur. Oh! Champ de Fleur. It means field of flowers. <laughs> I see what they did there. This is the place. I can sense the presence inside. There's certainly not many flowers on the way out, that's for sure. Then come on, leader. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I've got my uh, suit ready and my red armband. Leader. I'm detecting a major presence upstairs. It has to be our target. It's hiding in a large room on the third floor. Head that way and track it down. Oh no, here is the vending machine. Would you look at that? We have energy drinks and coffee, just in case you need it. Private booths? Waiting room? Waiting room? These things don't have fucking waiting rooms? The only thing that has a wait. Oh. There's a chair behind the curtain. This isn't a love hotel, this is something else. What's this? There's a coffin behind the reception desk. These rooms are pretty pricey, good to know. This is 39 bucks. 49 bucks, 59 bucks. But anyway. What's this? Are these room numbers? So, you see that little thing? You can't actually see the person at the counter. It's supposed to be for privacy. You don't see the person, they don't see you. It's very private. You know, for privacy and stuff. Because, you know, Japanese people don't want to be seen. Room 101. Large room on the third floor. No, I want to check out all the rooms, just in case. Might be guests at the hotel. It's not working. Dang, that's boring. Boo. Come on, let's explore it. There's no time to relax. It's crucial that we eliminate the target. You find this relaxing? Good to know. Hey, I wouldn't get sidetracked unless you want an earful from Yucatan. No time to roll. Oh, come on! Really? You're gonna do this to me? Jeez. What are you doing? We're not even on the right floor. Come on, we need to deal with the shadow. What a buzzkill! God, do you really have to be such a buzzkill? Oh! I saw a big door back there. Maybe we should check it out. Oh, you noticed the big one, huh? Let me guess, it's the Pharaoh Suite. Is that the Pharaoh Suite? Or is this a Roman Suite? It's gonna be something. It's gonna be Roman or Egyptian. Hierophant's Chamber. Yeah, it's Egyptian. Who wants to dress up like Cleopatra and smother herself in honey? And get rolled up in a carpet and be like, draw me like one of your French girls. Um. I sense a large present behind the door. Are you ready? Why not? This thing's the boss? <laughs> it's more normal looking than I expected. You consider this normal looking. Yukari, you scare me sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Oh, God. Has 
Dark Shadow is with the Hierophant Arcana. We don't know what it'll do. We'll be ready for anything. In this situation, it'll take a little more time. What's next? Oh, crap. Shall I move to strike? Say. You'll be paralyzed if you succumb to the fear. Don't push yourself and try to calm down. Fear of what? An overweight thing whose feet can't even reach the floor? I am so terrified. The enemy's striking what fear into you. Someone might run. Someone might run? Cowardice. Cowardice everywhere. Sucks. I've 
already scanned this one. Give them hell. Shall I move the strike? Running. What's the plan? Oh, how can you be paralyzed? Don't die, Ryuji. Okay, I need your bloody ultimate, you bastard. Dang it. Junpei, if you didn't die. Well, that was anticlimactic. those pillars to tie stuff or is it purely aesthetic? The enemy's been defeated. Great work everyone. I'll be waiting outside for you. So uh we have another 48 minutes. Hmm. Hmm, I know this big would be convenient, but I'm not sure about the design. Mm. Sheesh, even the bathroom door's way over the top. I bet it's the same inside too, huh? <laughs> I love how there's a couch, in case someone wants to watch. And mirrors so you can see yourself. But it's not in the middle. 
Are you stupid? It's all such poor taste. Seriously, who'd want to sleep in a place like this? I can assure you, no one's sleeping here. Are you stupid or something? It's completely see-through. Why would they design it like this? So people can watch people taking a bath, obviously. Why can't they just be over already? I want to go home and take a shower. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, there's a tissue box! They really committed to this theme, didn't they? Getting a little repetitive, don't you think? Yeah, she's sick of this. You can check the TV. Everything in this room is so fancy, even the TV looks like it's top of the line. Really? That's... And curtains too. Wow. Anyways. Are you stupid? This was interesting. The door won't budge. A strong force seems to be holding it shut. <laughs> We're stuck. No way. Why? I sense a shadow in that room. Huh? But we just... It's not the same one from before. But where is it hiding? Hey. The shadow should be in this room, right? We have to find it. I'm gonna do us a favor and heal. If I was a shadow, where would I be? Check the mini fridge. <laughs> if it is actually in here the whole time, we'd have one ice cold shadow on our hands. Let's see. Nothing, we'll just have to keep checking. Doesn't seem like it's in there. Keep looking. Turn everything over. Turn every stone. What if there was a shadow in the TV? Yeah, like that would never happen. Alright, is there something out of place? One of the pillars. One of the beds. Uh, the tissue box and the teacups? Nope. The curtain? Nope. This door here? Hmm. Could it be inside? There really aren't any places you can hide in there. What about the mirror? Huh? Ah, the mirror with no reflection. Is it just me, or is there something weird about this mirror? Mirror, mirror, on the... Sorry, what now? What now? What the hell? Um... Well, this just happened. <gasps> what just happened? What did you do? Where am I? You got a little drunk and something happened. <laughs> There's someone taking a shower in the bathroom. You don't remember who it is. What do you do? Do you sit there? Do you quietly slip out? Do you join them? That is the real question. Where am I? My head feels foggy. I can't remember why I'm here. What was I doing? Who was I doing? Guess it doesn't matter. What was I doing? I feel like I've forgotten something important. <laughs> oh boy. I can hear the shower running in the bathroom. Embrace your desire. Sorry, what now? There's a strange voice ringing inside my head. I am the voice of your inner self. No, you're that little boy that keeps fucking waking me up every month. Revel in the moment. Really? Is this puberty? That which cannot be felt is merely a dream. The present is all we have. That's right. That's not true. That's right. My consciousness is starting to blur. But I know I still have work to do. Why do you resist? Do not avert your eyes from the truth. I am the voice of your inner self. Revel in the moment. That which cannot be felt is merely a dream. The present is all we have. Oh. I'm fine with this. Who cares? Why do you resist? I don't resist. I am the void. Revel that which cannot be. 
I'm a former teenage boy. I don't resist. That's not true. The future is but a fantasy. Memory, a fabrication. Let your desire free you from your shackles. Such is your wish. I can't give in. Pleasure is what you truly seek. You stand before the doorway to bliss. You cannot deny your instincts. Embrace your desire. I don't really get it. <laughs> I'm listening. Oh, God damn it! I can't give in. Pleasure. <sighs> I'll pass. My mind is getting clearer. Boo! Boo! Seems like something was trying to manipulate my thoughts. It's called testosterone. Boo! Someone turn off the shower in the bathroom. Go take a cold shower. Boo! <sighs> what was I? <laughs> <laughs> Of course he gets slapped. She's the one that walks out of the shower wearing a bathrobe. We're just standing there fully clothed and we're the ones that get assaulted. Well, we call that toxic femininity. It seems like Yukari's thoughts were being manipulated as well. I can finally reach you. Can you two hear me? Mm. What's going on? I'm sorry I couldn't contact you sooner. The shadow was interfering with your thoughts, so I couldn't reach you. Oh no, not teen pregnancy. Looks like you two got teleported away as well. The group's all been separated. Wait, if I'm here with Yukari, that means Junpei's with... Fuka, could you get me a feed into the other room, please? The enemy is still in the same room. Let's regroup and then head back there. That shit would be hilarious. Did you hear that, Yukari-chan? Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> ah, an embarrassing story to remember for later. Um, did something happen? It's fine. Uh-huh. Come on, let's go. And how about we don't mention this to anyone? Got it? Yeah, it can be our dirty little secret. <laughs> I'm sorry. I only sensed the one shadow. And I hate to bear more bad news on top of this, but a barrier has gone up within the building. You won't be able to reach it this way. <sighs> so we can blame the shadow for getting us trapped down there. I'm going to try to find a way to break this barrier. In the meantime, please reconvene on the second floor. Ah, adorable. 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 Yo. There you are. Man, I don't think there'd be another shadow. So, how was it? Anyway, you two okay? We're fine. How about you? Oh. Nothing odd. Nothing at all. Um, um, could it be? I get it. It's the mirrors. The readings from the mirrors in the guest room seems to be resonating with the main shadow. If we can destroy those mirrors, then maybe we'll be able to break the barrier. Hmm. Well done. Can you tell which rooms have these mirrors? Yes. I can sense... Something from rooms 204 and 205. Try heading to those two rooms first. Um. Was there something weird about the mirror in the room the shadow was in?
Wow, this is a... Interesting looking... Why does it have a fucking microwave? Ah, uh, yes. We just finished, and I felt like warming up some yucky soba. Why are you on the couch? There's something here. Soul refresh. You won't be needing this anymore. Mm. This person might catch a cold sleeping here like this, but I guess we can't exactly move them. Whatever. TV doesn't seem to be working. I just hit it. Um. Oh, there's a mirror. So we just break it, right? Let's smash this thing to pieces on the count of three. One, two, hold on! The signal's close, but I'm not entirely certain that this is the right mirror. Could you check the other room too, just in case? That's a good point. Better to be safe than sorry. So let's cover all our bases first. I don't care, just break all the mirrors. I don't care that you can actually see our reflection in it. Nope, we can't see our reflection. Oh. oh, there's the mirror. Oh wait, there's something different about this one compared to the other one. I don't see anything different about it. How about you? Our reflections. What? No way. Holy crap, you're right. It's not showing me in all my heroic glory. Yeah, looking back on it, I think it's the same as the mirror in the room the shadow was in. There's definitely something up with the mirror that reflects everything except people. We can't know for sure if this is the right one. But do you want to try breaking it and see? Break it. I knew it. We should be able to get to the shadow, right? Huh? Actually, the seal's still intact. But that should have... Don't panic. Can you pick up any similar signals? Let me see. I get it. I'm getting a signal from a mirror on the third floor. Then we just have to break that one too. Right, Fuka? Can you tell which room it's in? Sorry, I can't pinpoint the exact location. There's too much interference from the main signal. I guess we'll just have to go and find another mirror that doesn't show our reflection. It should be inside one of the rooms on the third floor. Good luck. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to check all the rooms then, since clearly there's no way for me to identify which mirror is the bad one. But let's check these rooms just in case. By the way. I checked them myself a short while ago, it's locked. <laughs> Mother dearest. Well. It's a dark hour, we won't be able to buy anything. Oh. Okay, later you decide which rooms mirrors we should break. Let's break all of them. No! <laughs> Someone's getting it on. Oh no, it's not this mirror. Let's just break it anyway. Break it! My mind is starting to feel fuzzy. Is everyone alright? It seems that breaking the wrong mirror will cause the shadow to target you. Try breaking a mirror that doesn't show your reflection. Oh, that's not fun. No, this one's fine. Mad bull. Damn straight, I'm a mad bull. Looks like a bathroom. No one cares about this. This room sucks. What about this one? Hmm. Round bed. It may appear lavish at first, but the actual craftsmanship leaves much to be desired. You're telling me. The comments about the bed? Too late now. Hey, you know what would be funny? If you open one of the coffins and one of the people dies and then the dark hour was done and the person's there in the middle of bed and then you gotta realize how long it takes them to realize that the other person's dead. PRANKED! You just did necrophilia. Oh, there's three! Wait a minute, one, two, three, um, so anyway, submission tonight, am I right? Someone's having fun. What? 
Well, clearly, the person in the middle is performing on the person on the left and on the right, clearly. Guruma. Hey, I never said I wasn't evil. Alright, so it's that one. Powerful seal, you have to break it. We'll be in trouble if the dark hour ends before you can defeat it. Wow, there's only three rooms. And there's a person standing outside. I wonder how YouTube will take this. Well, it'll take it about as well as it usually does. It'll demonetize everyone that doesn't have a big, you know. Alright, let's break one. Which is why every week I send some negativity to the ex-CEO of YouTube. Occasionally misfires, but like, you know. Break it! Main signal is completely gone. The seal should be broken now. Excellent. And the target room should be accessible now. Still, we're behind schedule. Let's move. Go around rearranging the coffins would be more interesting. Like, flip them around. The shadow's waiting behind his door. Are you ready? Let's do it. Was you? A uh hair -huh, bro. I'll teach you not to mess with a girl's heart. You said hard, eh? We'll get it this time. I believe in you, team. Okay, let's not f this up. Unforgivable. I'll never forgive you for that. No, she mad. This one's from the lovers' arcana. It's the source of the mind manipulation. What next? Some fun! Persona! Huh? Come! I'll hit them where it hurts. It makes sounds. Persona. Dang it. The enemy's charmed you. Please, we're on your side. Damn it. You don't say. Please support each other while you're fighting. Now's the time. I won't I'll go with. Me no target available. What to do? Is she no longer charmed? Okay, she's no longer charmed. Works for me. Now you've done it. I'm ready. Go for it. Give him hell. Oops, that made my defense higher. What's this weird feeling? Here. Oh my god, she shot him! She shot him right away! Shall I move to strike? I'm gonna decrease its defense like crazy. Alright, it's pretty low. No, don't calm down. Can't stop it now. Let's go. Whoa. 
Oh, you bitch. Ah, oh, son of a... I'm ready. Oh, yeah? Persona. Well, that didn't work. Let's see. That is drugs. Please be careful. That mist can hypnotize you. Just don't breathe. What next? All right. Here I go. And with this, you're finished. <laughs> Yeah. I'll go with. Never We've mind. already scanned this one. Huh? This will be painful if I have to drain the crap out of it. Never more to do. We've already scanned this one. Huh? Yes! It's making noises, it means it's hurting. God damn it! What to do? So after they get hit with the charm, they get, um, they basically recover. I'll go with. I need to get its defense back down. I keep doing this by accident. Oh, 
I'm worried for a second. You'll pay for that. I'm ready. So while you're alive, at least hit it. No Child play. Don't do it. Asshole. Damn it, the wrong one again! Oh, why does this even exist? Why does this crap even exist? Can I delete this thing? Ah, oh, god damn it. What a waste. I have to go extra slow. Ugh. Oh god, this again! I'm gonna delete that move. Stop healing it! What to do? a waste of a thing. I even uncharmed her. Ugh. Get him if you keep getting charmed, I'm gonna stop using you. So sick of his damn charm causing problems. Stop being charmed. What's the plan? How about the Just hit it. Good. Soak up some damage. Screw my brain at this point. We've already scanned this one. I'll give him hell. Ow, this doesn't look good. We've already scanned 
this one. Pull the trigger. Not of large. That was close. We've already scanned this one. It doesn't look like you have the right skills. So it can only heal itself once, huh? I was half expecting itself to heal. I was half expecting it to heal itself. What happened? It healed itself when it was at almost full, and then it never did it again. Cannot learn any more skills. Revive. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. One ally versus all three. I mean, how rarely do you heal one person? Oh yeah, new move. Iron shot? Pierce. I mean... <laughs> Why is Junpei, like, in the back, looking away from the team? What has Junpei seen? Has he seen something? Excellent work. The enemy was clever, but you came out on top. <laughs> Thank you. Junpei, what's wrong? You did good too, Takeba. It's no wonder you volunteered. Do you regret it now? Be careful what you wish for. And you as well. You were able to remain calm during the enemy's mental assault. <laughs> Maybe you're finally starting to recognize yourself as a leader. Keep up the good work. We literally got slapped. Do I get an apology? Fun fact, if you went to your room after reuniting with the team, Akihiko or someone else would comment on the shower being wet, and Yukari would tell them to stop thinking about it. What happened? Our team survived another dangerous fight. It feels like the level of trust between us has all grown. Junpei, what happened? What happened? Something happened. Alright, let's call it a night. What happened? What happened? What the hell happened? Oh, Yukari-chan. Um... About that thing you mentioned the other day. Mm. You found something? Mm. I yes. Mm. Okay, tell me about it later. Mm. All right, we should head back too. Junpei, what the hell happened? Hey, come on, Junpei, let's go. What the hell happened? Fuka played a big role in this one again. Seems like the second years are really putting in the work. Something's happening. Looks like you're really shining out there, dude. Really? This is what this is about? It was luck. We all did our part. Really now? Oh, come on! Well, whatever, I guess. Really? Oh my god. Don't tell me you're jealous someone else is getting all the attention. Shut up! Whoa! What's his problem? Well, this is going somewhere. We successfully defeated the Shadow this month, too. There should be fewer victims for a while. But I'm too exhausted to think about all that right now. I should hurry back to the dorm and get some rest. Well, that just happened. Let me guess. Hippie Jesus. That was faster than I expected. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a love hotel. So we got Hippie Jesus, Daddy Issues, and David Martinez. Mm. There's Daddy Issues. 
Quite a show, I must admit. Wait, you are watching? They've been rather busy these last few months, haven't they? And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Their fighting style is most fascinating. Not to mention they've made several forays into the tower. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? How about we go ask our buddy? Gonna be seeing him real soon. Ah, yes. An excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. Mm -hmm. After all, we don't have much time left. Mm -hmm. That's ominous. I can hear people talking. Hey there. It's almost summer break. Let's go somewhere for vacation. Oh, totally. Yeah, I want to go to the sea, the mountains, everywhere and anywhere. But first, we got finals starting on Tuesday. What? Oh, I'd forgotten about that. At least we have a break before the exams this time. Summer vacation is just around the corner. We have finals starting next week. I am so screwed. I'm not a genius. Attention, all right? Yeah, let's see here. Final start next Tuesday. We just had an exam. What a pain. Well, maybe pain isn't the right word. English phrases can be pretty tricky. Now let's talk about comma splices. What? I'm sure you've all heard about them before, but just to be clear, a comma splice is when two independent clauses are incorrectly joined by a comma instead of a conjunction. I don't even know what a conjunction is. Hey, what's up? Here's a quick question for you dun 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 kuma what is the comma splice found in the following sentence because it is 10 30 right now we will not reach the theater in time it's already started to my dismay um i think it's after the word now Fun fact, during this boss fight, while Yukari is still a required unit, female MC would either be in the room with either Junpei or Akihiko in the shower. Also, pretty sure when Junpei is being jealous, Yukari teases him with the female MC being a girl and being the leader again. Woof. Between time and its. Time? We will not reach the theater in time. It's already started. B? Okay. Bingo! Middle one is the incorrectly used comma. Regardless of how logical the sentence flow may appear, a comma cannot be used to link two independent clauses. That's a comma splice. Got it? You will literally never actually use this in real life whatsoever. Well, if no one has any questions, let's move on. I answered correctly. Whatever. I am more charming than a sandwich. Finals are a lot harder than midterms, you know? That doesn't necessarily mean I'll study harder, but we'll see. Sometimes the extra effort pays off. <laughs> now that there's exams, no one wants to spend time with me. But I can spend time with the king. And I can spend time with the girl. But I really should study. I really should study. This will come in handy. I think what could have happened was Junpei was hypnotized and took off his pants, and Misura laughed at him, and then the spell broke. That would destroy any man. 
That would destroy any man. The comma makes the difference between helping your Uncle Jack off his horse and helping him jack off his horse. Maybe she sh wouldn't laugh, but tell him to put his pants on in the next 10 seconds, or she executes him. What was that quote from ReZero? Get that pathetic little thing out of here. Marvelous. I get a gift. Requests. Are you accepting a request? Create a persona that's 23 or above. Let's oh, I did that? Results. Sugar key. With the acquisition of the sugar key, you can now fuse King Frost, the monarch of snow. Jeez. Very well then. Alright. Now that we did that story segment, we should end it there. It's a good spot to end it. We did the story. It was a little bit, how should we say? different than what I expected, but like, hey, can't complain, right? So we went to a love hotel. That old Junpei tried putting the moves on Mitsuru and she kicked him in the groin. That would also break the spell. You see, we resisted the spell, much to my dismay. Mitsuru would be able to break it like instantly, but I don't think Junpei would resist it. He would just go with it and That's why he's so depressed He wouldn't resist it. He would go for it He would go for it He wouldn't resist he would embrace it That's that's probably why She probably would have slapped him or something or told him to man up or something I don't know something would have happened like yeah clearly something would have happened the guy's confidence is crushed something happened but if I didn't bring him would he also be sad he'd be sad that he didn't get told to come with us so either way it's a lose-lose like there's no winning there's nothing I can do now imagine if Junpei and Aki were together, and if you choose both of them in the mission and left Mitsuru on the bench. Why would he be depressed? What, did Junpei expose himself to his big brother? Like, that'd be awkward. It'd be kind of weird. And embarrassing, and like, what the hell, man? But like, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be soul crushing. Insert Joseph and Abdul. <laughs> oh no! No! You know what would be awkward? You can't find Akihiko and Junpei, and you're with Yukari after she slapped you, and you walk into the one of the rooms, and you just see them doing that to each other. Like, just humping the shit out of each other. And Yukari's like, what the hell? And they're like, we can't stop it! It's the shadow! It's, you know... It would just be fucked. It would just be fucked. How do you think Akihiko would react to the spell? Akihiko has really good mental strength, so probably nothing. Look. You see, there, there's a certain thing, right? You can have mental strength. But sometimes, the thoughts in your head... You know what I mean? Like, just because... You get thoughts in your head doesn't necessarily mean they're always wrong. Sometimes you agree with them. Akihiko's brain is only protein. Akihiko would not want to waste protein. He'd be like, no, I must retain my protein. And then Junpei would say something awkward, like there's more than one way to get protein. And Akihiko would be like, get the fuck out of my room. And put your pants back on, boy! But yeah, only Mitsuru reacted to the question about what they did. So at least it wasn't something that Junpei would be embarrassed about. I'm sorry, but the Abdol and Joseph situation would just be fucked. 
It would be hilarious, but it would be fucked. It would probably be Junpei humping Akihiko. Akihiko would be like, get off me. And Junpei would be like, I can't. That That's what would be awkward. That would be the awkward part. Akihiko, women make the legs go weak. It's women weaken legs. Oh. I mean, if that's what happened, I can understand Junpei being embarrassed. I would also be embarrassed. I would be deeply ashamed. Dry humping your big brother. I mean, that's fucking shameful. How do you live with yourself? I mean, like, if it awkwardly happened to another girl, you know, like, silver lining, it's a girl. But if you were dry humping your big brother, and you know what would be even more awkward? If you got excited while doing it, that would be even more awkward. That the friction from the humping induced something. That would be shameful. And then not only are you embarrassed, but you're also questioning yourself. Yeah, when you asked about what happened to Mitsuru, it was the only one who instantly reacted and diffused ended the conversation, so I feel like she did something in the moment. Either way, Junpei would succumb to the spell. Junpei would never resist the spell. Junpei would completely agree with the spell. Like, the shadow would be like, where the fuck is Junpei? And Junpei would already be with his pants off. As I said, guilty as charged, Mitsuru. Mitsuru props being a rich, sheltered girl is probably embarrassed to see a guy with his pants down. She would probably feel that it's improper. It wouldn't be like embarrassment that a guy takes his pants off. It would kind of be like, how could you do that? You know what I mean? Like, that's disgusting. She would be like, you've just done something. You know what I mean? Outside the sanctity of matrimony. How could you, you deviant? You know what I mean? Like that very sheltered aristocratic she's probably engaged to some other aristocrat you know like the family's already had an arranged marriage to strengthen political ties with the kingdom of poland or some shit like one of those things and, you know and then she's in a dingy sex hotel with some teenager with his pants off you know what i mean like it's pretty dirty it's pretty hard um Yukari fell under the spell long enough for a shower, but snapped out of it before anything happened. She snapped out of it after she came out of the shower and walked up to the MC and was like, what the fuck am I doing? But like, she was in the shower, right? Which means... She woke up, went to the shower, prepped herself, came out, and was like, the fuck am I doing? Meanwhile, the MC was like sitting on the bed going, what am I doing? I must resist the urge to join in, you know what I mean? Like, I would have just been like, fuck it, just go- Like, my brain would instantly be like, plausible deniability. Like, my brain, 100%, plausible deniability. I would, you know what I mean? Like, I would walk in and be like, would you like me to join you? You know, or like, would you like me to wash your back? Like, something like that. And if she snapped out of it, I'd be like, oh shit. You're right! The shadow! <laughs> you know what I mean? But, plausible deniability! And if the other person also uses plausible deniability, you both have plausible deniability. It could be a dirty little secret, you know what I mean? And, and like, it would be one of those situations where a while later it's like, about that time in the love hotel, I wasn't actually under the spell of the shadow. And you would be like, Neither was I. It'd be like, you asshole! You know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? In the movie, the MC started undressing too and got his shirt unbuttoned before Yukira snapped out of it. Yukari snapped out of it. Wait, so what snapped her out of it was the fact that he was undressing. So it wasn't the fact that she went to the shower to get prepped. It was the fact that he started undressing. That made her go like, wait, 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 whoa, 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 I'm pulling the plug on this. Ouch.
It was the fact he undresses his shirt and was standing right in front of her when she got out of the shower. Oh, so he was undressing and then she came out of the room and then he was like topless and she was like, oh shit, there's a guy here. Okay, I could see that. So maybe she thought, okay, yeah, well, ouch. Damn it, I hit myself. But part of it could have been that she didn't realize that there was a guy. And so she walked out of the room and was like, oh fuck, there's a guy here. I don't know, maybe part of the trance was like, I'm just taking a shower. And then she came out and was like, what the fuck? I don't know. Either way, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty like. <laughs> I like that this game has darker themes and more adult themes. Meanwhile, P5 is like the PG version. This is more like the M rated version. Like not all the way, but it's suggestive. It's pretty funny. She was all for it until it was right in front of her. Most people are. Most people are. Most people are all bravado. So we raid Nico B. I meant to ask two weeks ago for my birthday. Um, if he's on, as long as he doesn't spoil it, it's gonna blow up the screen though. Give me a sec. It's gonna blow up the screen. I'm gonna have to turn this off. Alright, I have to switch it. Give me a sec. Uh, here comes the lag. Here comes the lag. I have to open up my browser too. Give me a sec. Uh, fun in the sun. Your notes are as perfect as ever. They're easier to understand than the textbook itself. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Not this shit again! Not this again! No! Why? Why does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Sire 2.0? Why? Why? Why am I getting rejected? Why? <laughs>